Hello everyone, it is Bren with Addicted to Cricket with another great video. Today I'm going to tackle the knockout design. These are just a couple that I did really quick. Um, I put them on a blue background because that's the color of the t-shirt that I'm working on for the boys. So I think the white and the red is really going to show it off. But let me show you how I made these. You come over here into de to design space. We can start with our words. Let's make um, this one first with the dinosaur, okay? So let's put some text in there. I'm gonna put it all capitals because I want um, the text to be big. I'm gonna separate my text. I, I just like it better control. Now the font that we want for this is impact. So we're gonna come up here to where we see it says font and we're going to change it. And we can actually search for that. If you are a Mac user, you may have to download this, but if you are anything else, it's already in there. So you don't have to worry about it. Okay, now you see how nice and thick they get? And that's what we want. As you can see, our letters are big and close together so that our image shows up. So let's go back and we are going to actually pull these closer together using the letter space right here. I'm just going to click the down arrow until I'm happy with it. I want them close, but I don't want them touching. Now here's a problem. I don't like how far away this is. So I'm going to come up here to advanced, click on it, and click ungroup to letters. Basically what's that that's doing is it's ungrouping everything. Now I'm going to click on my W and using the arrow keys on my keyboard, I'm going to click it to the left, the left arrow, twice. Maybe three times. Nope, that was too many. Now we have to move the R over too, so let's move that over twice. Perfect. I love that. Now let's do that to this one too. We're going to move the letters closer together. Almost touching, but not quite. Okay, and then let's ungroup them here. Click the W using the arrow key on my keyboard, hitting it twice, and then doing the same thing for the R, hitting it twice. Okay, I'm going to save these separately. I'm going to group them separately because right now they're two different sizes and I don't really want that. Okay, make this one a little bit bigger. Put this one kind of on the edge so I can do it. And I want to pull this one up almost to touch, but not quite. This one's a little bit bigger. There. I like that. Now I'm going to put a box around them and I'm going to group them. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to weld them because we're going to slice. And if you remember, when you slice, you can only have two objects, one on top of the other, that sliced. And if I had not have welded these, it would have been eight things, eight objects, instead of just one. Now let's pull in the dinosaur. I have brought a dinosaur in from, um, I think I got it in my clip art thing. Let's see, what do I use? Uh, Pixabay. That's where I, that's where I got him. I'm a member there. First of all, I'm going to turn him. I'm going to flip him the other way. And I'm going to color him red so that I can see him a little bit better. Okay. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so we can actually see. So we're going to pull him in here, make him bigger. Now, if I click this, un this lock key right here, it unlocks it. And then I have a little more control over what my dinosaur is doing. Okay. I like that. Okay, I like that, just like that. So now what we're going to do is we are going to slice this dinosaur into our text. So we're going to click on the dinosaur, we're going to hold our shift key down on our keyboard, and then we're going to hit our text. Now all of it's got the blue box around it. And right down here you can see slice is now black, and we can slice it. Okay. Now usually I would tell you to take it off, but we don't want to do that this time because we are actually cutting two pieces of vinyl, a black piece and a red piece. 
but some of this needs to go because some of the dinosaur is in between the letters or on the letters or whatever. So what I do is I come and I start changing colors. We're going to change this to gold. Okay, I think this is the one that I don't want because I don't want it in between the letters. I just want it on the letters. So since I'm already clicked on it, I'm going to hit the delete there. That's what I want. Now this one here, I'm going to color it yellow too. It's just an extra. We don't see it shining up there. So we're going to delete that one too. Now we're down to just our text and our dinosaur and that's it. I'm going to group these and I'm ready to cut. Let's click it to make it. And of course I didn't size it for a shirt, but you can see it has already made it so that it's going to cut the black one and then the dinosaur. So let me go back and let's size this a little bit better. I think it's a little wide for a t-shirt. And if I unclick it, I can make it, you know, a little bit longer. I think. I'm going to go about right there. Okay. Now let's make it. I'm going to cut this and get ready to put it on the t-shirt, get my iron warmed up and I will be right back. Okay. So I've already got my first layer on there pressed and, um, I need to put the second layer on. This is just a kid's t-shirt that I got at Walmart for less than three bucks. I'm not sure that I pressed this long enough, so I'm going to, because I messed my iron up, so I'm going to press this again, press the timer so it'll give me 30 seconds, and um, just wait. I love my easy press. It makes things very easy. I don't move it around. I just press, give it a little firm press, okay? And I usually flip the t-shirt over and press it again on the back side, just making sure that it's pressed really well, especially when it's for a kid. You know, it's gonna be used quite a bit. Okay, let me see how that did. So we're gonna take off, whoops. I think we're gonna let it cool a little bit before we try and take that off because the letters were not wanting to come off. Hmm, that's odd. There we go. I think I'm still gonna let it rest for just a few minutes, let it cool. Don't wanna mess it up because I've messed up t-shirts before that way. Okay, that feels a little better. Okay peel it away. I kind of watch them to make sure that everything's coming off like it's supposed to be. Which iron on is really my favorite thing to do because of the simplicity of it. Okay, there. Do, 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 do. Now we have to line up the dinosaur on that. So let's put them down there. Unfortunately, we have a little bit of room to play. try that again because I don't think the mouth was lined up right. The tail was good but the mouth seemed to be a bit high. My head's in the light. Okay, I like that. So let's put our piece of Teflon back on. We're going to heat it up once again. I'm going to press it for 30 seconds. Um, Sometimes I only leave it for 15. I think I may leave it for 20 and then I'm going to turn the t-shirt over and do it on the back side. As you can see my little countdown. So I'm going to stop there. Take my Teflon off. 
I'm going to turn the t-shirt over and I'm going to do it on the back side. Okay, that was my easy press telling me it was 30 seconds. Now let's do it on this back side for 30 seconds. Just to make sure we've got a good melty adherence because that's what I really want. t-shirt cool down for a little bit like we did before but already you can see that it's looking pretty cool I don't know which one of the grandsons is going to get this but one of them is probably the biggest because this is an extra large I think yep so the older one Okay, let's try it, girls. Let's see what happens. Whoop, boop, boop. I love it. I love it. It turned out exactly how I wanted it to. There you go. This is called a knockout design. It can be done with letters and shapes or shapes and letters. It's very easy. It's using the um, slice tool. And the trick is to remember you can only have two objects, text and image, not a multiple. You have to weld them together. Image has to be separate, text has to be separate, or whatever you're, you're slicing. Okay, girls, that's it. Have a great day.